in a field with Bush regime and his army on one side. What what do we need to have on the other side of that scale to balance out war, the, the possibility of war? And Truth, of war. peace, and justice, of which we have none in this administration. That's not enough? <laughs> Life. Let's put life on there. The value of human life. Not all, just American life. All human but life. But all human life. Yeah, I think we've reached a point, I, I thought we did anyway, where civilization was changing. I I don't understand what's happening. We seem to have gone back fifty years in time. It's once you drop a bomb and you start killing people and you retaliate, it never ends. It's just never going to end. Women have to end this because I really truly believe that men just, they have this, whatever it is, hunting or testosterone. You know, testosterone. Well, I didn't want to say that, but um, they just, they, love, they most of them enjoy war. I hate to say that, but women give life and women don't want to take away life. And I think it's time that women not only took over all governments around the world, but, but made policy and made decisions and were diplomatic. Enough with this building nuclear arsenals and, and ships and, and stuff in the sky that's going to, you know, have satellite you know, telemetry to aim at some large city to kill people. It's enough, you know, enough of this. We don't need it anymore. I think if women stood up and said, around the world, we want to stop this, like like Indira Gandhi did, and and after her, um, we could do it. We could just have to do it. We have to get out there and do it. And I think it's time we have to bring all of our troops home, all of them, wherever they are in the world, we don't need them there. It's only for large corporations making a lot of money. It has nothing to do with us. And we have to stop making people in countries that are so far away abstractions. That's one of the big problems. They are so geographically distant that so many Americans think of them as abstractions, less than human. We have. We hear our leaders talk about smart bombs, and there is no such thing as a smart bomb. We all know that. Our leaders don't know it. And we used to be a beloved country, and now we're the second most hated country in the world, only behind Iran. It makes me ashamed. Thank you. Thank you.